Hi, welcome to Ada Core University. My name is Quentin Oshem, and today I'm going to walk you through your very first Ada program. Let's get started. This is a very simple Ada application. It will query some numbers of the console, make some computation between them, in this case an addition, and then display a different caption depending on the sign of the result of this addition. Let's see this live in the IDE. This is GPS, the Ada IDE, opened on the Hello project. The first thing I'm going to do here is to compile the application. So I go to this build menu here, hit project, and then select the executable that I want to build, which is Hello. This window uh, provides me with the various options I can select for the build. In this case, the default are fine, so I'm just hitting execute. As you can see, this triggers various command in the background, eventually creating the program hello.exe. Let's execute this. I'm going to build again, and this time hit run hello. I get a window with options that I can configure, but Again, here, defaults are fine. I'm just hitting Execute. This opens a console within GPS that is going to allow me to interact with the application. Let's see how it works. If I put two positive numbers, I'm expecting a positive result and have the proper caption in the console. For instance, 1 and 1 equals 2. It's positive. And indeed, as you can see, the positive result has been displayed as expected by the program. If I run the same thing a second time, this time with two negative numbers, minus one and minus one, I have the proper caption negative result that get displayed on the screen. And finally, as you would expect, if I run the same program again with minus one and one, expecting result is zero caption, this is indeed what is being displayed by the program. Let's now dive into more details. The first thing that we are looking at here is the entry point of the program. It's a procedure which is an equivalent of a void function in languages such as C or C++. In Ada, the name of the entry point or, if you will, the name of the main subprogram can be anything. It doesn't have to be main necessarily, which is why in this case I decided to call it hello. What happens next after the procedure creation is a declaration scope where I can declare variables. Here I'm declaring a, b and c of type integer. I have to declare variables within the declarative scope. It is not possible to declare them otherwise. The declaration scope is finished by the keyword begin, which introduces a sequence of statements such as assignments, conditions, subprogram calls. This statement can only happen in a sequence of statement area. They cannot be written in a declarative part. One of the notable differences between Ada and other languages such as C or C++ is that the assignment is done through the colon equal symbol as opposed to simple equal. On top of that, an assignment is not an operator, meaning that it cannot be written in a condition. The equality operator in Ada is a simple equal as opposed to a double equal in some other languages. One of Ada particularities is the notion of attribute. An attribute is a property of an Ada entity, for example, a variable or a type. It is accessed through the tick notation between the entity that you want to extract the property from and the property name. In this example, we are using two attributes, value and image. 
value is a special attribute that transforms a string into a value of the type. So integer tick value would transform a string to an integer value. Image does the opposite, that is to say, takes a value of the type and transforms that to a string. With this we are going to do some input-output on the console. In order to be able to interact with the console, we will need to use a library unit. In ADA, the standard library unit that provides access to input-output on the console is called ADA.TextIO. In order to use it, I need to declare a dependency between my program and this library unit. This dependency is introduced by the reserved word with at the beginning of the program followed by the name of the library unit, in this case ada.text.io. Once this is done, I can use services or functionalities from this library. Here I am interested in two, two things in particular, getLine and putLine. As you can see here, to have access to getLine containing ada.text.io, I have to write ada.text.io.getLine and what this will do here is call the subprogram getLine which reads a string on the command line up until I hit the enter key and then returns the string to the program. The put line service is going to do things the other way around that is to say it takes a string as parameter and it will display the string on the console. Now here what I want to do is to display a caption and a value. That is to say a literal positive result and the result of the call to the image attribute converting the C value into a string. In order to concatenate two strings here, I'm going to use the ampersand character, the ampersand operator in ADA, which is the array concatenation operator and can be used between strings. The last thing to look at here is the conditional block. As you can see, uh, we will use the then word to delimitate the condition. So there is no need of parentheses around the condition as you would need in some other languages. Um, the other interesting thing is that there is an actual reserved word else if to introduce a condition alternative if the first one is not verified. And finally, there is no condition shortcut to close the block uh, in case there is only one instruction to execute. Uh, which means that for an if, there is always an end if. So what this does is checking if c equals 0. If that's the case, then put result is 0. If not, it will check if c is greater than 0 and then put positive results on the screen if that's the case. And in all other cases, it will display negative results. It's now time for a short quiz to verify your understanding. There is a number of errors in this code. Click on the location where you see these errors and then hit submit. There were five errors to be found in this piece of code. Let's see them one by one. First, the begin reserved word is missing to separate the declaration part from the sequence of statements. The assignment operator is wrong. In ADA it should be colon equal and not just equal. Image is an attribute that converts a value to a string. What we want to do here is to convert a string written by getLine into an integer value, store it into B. So we should be using the value attribute instead of the image attribute here. The ADA operator for equality is a simple equal, not a double equal. 
And finally, it is not possible to concatenate a string directly with an integer here. So what I need to do is to convert this um, value, this number, into a string using the image attribute of integer. This concludes the first lesson of the first course of Ada Core University, which is Ada Overview. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned, there is much more to come.